I'm playing Evgeny T. I don't know who it is. He's a grandmaster. From Russia, it looks like. Seen a lot of chess.com rating points. Oh my god. Oh my god. Scandinavian. I'll go D4. At least forget what line. Wait, I do here, honestly. I'm gonna go G3. It can never be too bad. I used to have like a system against every third move in the Scandinavian, and then I just kind of forgot which moves. I'm gonna assume he can't take my pawn just yet. Um, if I assume that though, why didn't I go Bishop F4? Do it now. D5, good. I hope not. All right. So now what? H3. Okay. Oh wait. Wait. You can take it now. Maybe I should win H3 last move then. Queen D3? Uh. Not think forever. D5 any good? You can probably take that, right? Holy crap. I'm running. Okay, okay I gotta move. Gotta move. Gotta move. Uh, Queen E1? That's a ridiculous move. Queen. Okay, I'm just doing this. I don't know what to do anymore, honestly. If knight. Uh, all right, I'll take with the queen. If queen d4, I was just hoping I get play. Uh, I lost a lot of time in that opening. It's gonna hurt. I'm gonna sting. Bishop e5. Okay. This is kind of what I did against Shanklin. Uh, I got a 20 second time deficit to deal with here, which is it's always irritating. I'm gonna do this. What do you want to do with his knight, d7? Okay, uh... I'm gonna go like this and just hope he's good. Well, no, it's not good, probably. Go here instead. Ah, oh, that's a stupid move. Ah, uh, it just doesn't look good. I don't know, maybe queen a4, though, is an idea. Oh, I'm threatening bishop c6, so... Wow. Probably take it. Okay. Uh, so I, he has one pawn for the material. In such positions, you generally want to go for the attack. I'm thinking about keeping queens on the board. I'll do. Uh, because minor pieces play well. In, in the attack, but this, this is the problem. Um, queen e4. Oh god. Give up. No more attack. That is interesting, but certainly playable. So it's not gonna be an it's not gonna be an end game, but he has two pawns instead of uh, instead of just one. And he's way up in time, which is a big problem. This is an annoying move too. What do I do about this? God damn it! All right. This is probably bad for me. I gotta figure out a way to like coordinate my pieces. Can't figure one out though. It's obviously not not the solution. Wow. The guy's fast too. What do you do? Get the king in. My position is still playable, but I'm I'm way down in time, which is a big problem. A king to d3, but he's gonna go c5 one of these days. Like for instance, right now, pawns are starting to make make some noise.
phone is my phone. What is my idea? I don't really have a good one. Now, how do I stop this aid form? Question of the day. Take this bad boy. Seriously? You guys figured this out? Jesus Christ. Playing with wizards here. How does this guy figure this out? Design. Oh, guys, fast, man. People are suddenly moving so fast. Now we're minus score. We're doing so good. What went wrong in that game? Nothing. I actually think we had a really good position. And the time disadvantage really caught up with me. Um, I should have never given up the first pawn. I, I should have just went for the end game right away. Because, you know, one pawn in, in these type of positions still generally is some small advantage. So, I, I can take, and I think white is at least slightly better. But I thought I thought I could go like queen e4 in a position like this. I just forgot he can, you know, it just like, he gets, he gets to do this. A and then in the game, my pieces just became a jumbled mess. And he, for he, he forced me to trade queens. And then when they have two pawns in these types of positions in an end game, usually it's pretty bad. And his pawns kind of just stormed me. Oh well. Uh, thanks for watching. Still got three games left. Having fun. Bye bye.